Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blessed here and welcome back to the Upside Down Man. Let's wait for the footsteps to transpire. Because that is the path to the good ending. Or it's probably so it seems. But still, I'm going to keep that safe file. So to prevent events from being overridden, I'm just going to save. Right there and there. Okay. Phone just lit up. Alright, so what can we find in here? Anything in particular? Anything about these f f fridges? Hmm? There it is again. I got a bad feeling for this area. There's a sleeve on the counter. Let, why don't we take the sleeve just in case something bad may happen or we need it in the future? We definitely do need it in the future. But not right now. Not right now. Not right now, indeed. Hi there. Ed, what are you doing here? I thought you were way over in the other building. <laughs> Surprised? I know all sorts of secret routes here because I used to explore all the time. Explorer. Ed, the explorer. Is this the one, Ed? You found it? Oh, thank you. Is that notebook yours? No, it belongs to someone I knew. He showed me it a long time ago. I'm glad it was still around. A long time ago? <laughs> Fifteen years back. I lived here for about a year. Um, I heard that after it shut down as a mental hospital, this was a homeless shelter. That's right. M my father drank a little too much, so he couldn't do good work and was really poor. And m mom was dead, so... Then a priest at the church told us there was a place where p poor people could stay for free, and invited us here. M Mr. George, who gave me this notebook, lived here. He gave me a photo too, but I'll probably never get that back. This is a big place. Seems like it'd be hard to live in. S sort of. It was really cold in winter. But, well, we all came together and helped each other. So, it was really great. You don't look too happy, Will. Did something happen? I... I got separated from Pop again. Also, there was a girl helping me look for Pop, but I said some mean things and drove her off. You'd better apologize later, Ed. Even if I did apologize... I'm sure she wouldn't forgive an asshole like me. You shouldn't say bad words oh. like that. Not to yourself or to other people. It's okay. I'm sure she'll forgive you. You're a good kid. Uh, I'll be going now. I'm still looking for something. Like what? Um, if it's okay with you, would you come with me? I'm feeling kind of discouraged being alone. But it wouldn't. Sorry, well, I'm in sort of a hurry. Uh, there's something I need to do. This notebook you gave me has the method. I can finally make some progress. If you find your t talking rat, I want to see. I really like rats. Okay, I got it. You're not even slightly phased out by the thing. Oh. Do you know about the happy motors? You lived here 15 years ago, right? Don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I was there. Lots of police came. It was a big thing, and then we couldn't live here anymore. Yeah. It must have been scary. Five people suddenly being murdered. It, it, it was just natural. Uh, after all, we were really unhappy. How is it about those murders that are natural, Ed? Nothing about those murders were natural. I know, Will. It, Will, you're not even slightly phased out when he said something about the method. For goodness sakes, there's nothing on the shelves. A transport elevator for a board on the bars are fixed with screws. Well, we just have the tool for that sort of scenario. A screwdriver. Unless, of course, it's got the wrong head on it, obviously. This is all good. And there we have it. It's all good fun now. 
Good and fun. Good and, and fun. Nothing to mock about the voice actor for Ed because he's done a grand job with that character. Emitting those feels, those feelings, every the gate will not open. Dang it! Do we have a key on us? We do not, but we do have a knife. Wooden box. Like a die. Dice. Dices. No, you would call plural of die dice. Who is this so? Go inside. The door is firmly shut. Why can't we get in? You pointed me that way, but yet I can't do anything about it. But I can go this way, though. Which is very nice. Water storage tank. This way goes outside, I believe. Looks like a service exit from the outside is locked and will not open. Damn it. Damn all of this control room, and it's locked. Not much control over there, is there now? It seems to be locked from the inside. Oh, dearie me. What's this way? Another set of elevators. Okay, okay that won't open. Get inside there. And something sparkling. Something stuck between the floor tiles. Obtained a wonderful key. Now, where would this key go? This is a library. Hmm, library to where though? Ah, library, fifth floor. That answers that question. Most spectacularly. But first, I think we need to pay a visit to the water storage room. And look what's up there, it's a doll. It's a lovely doll, a bucket of water. Looky up there, and there's a valve over there. There's a valve attached. The drain pipe's coming from the tank. There's a valve attached. Good. And... Hi. Not again. Why does this keep showing up? I've had enough of this. I'm gonna go nuts already. Oh, maybe it's too late for that. I've been nuts long before today. Sophie and Keith both think I'm a weirdo. Whatever I say, they won't believe me. And that's the way it's always been. There hasn't been a single person who believed me about Meme or Murdoch or Pop. Well, no. There's B2, Ed, and... This creepy place is just making me think about weird stuff. I better find Pop and leave quick. Pop isn't coming for... You... Hmm? Hair? Well, it's good that somebody else came on board. Hey, the door knocks back, okay? I think it was you who was the one who did it. Is it okay to be starting a fire in here? Forget about is it okay. I'm guessing you haven't found your rat, huh? So you wouldn't listen if I told you to go home and dry off. Mm-hmm. So, you're not gonna say, go home, huh? Get off my back. <laughs> I might not be able to leave with Pop anymore. And why is that? When he sees me, he runs away. He won't talk to me at all now. Maybe he doesn't like being with me. Yeah, that must be it. Since I'm such a hopeless idiot. He's disgusted. If I just did what Pop said, this wouldn't have happened. But this can't be how we say goodbye. Not when I still need Pop around. I kept a rodent when I was a kid, too. A hamster named Frosty. One day, I figured he was bored in this cage. So I let him out in the garden. Thought he could use a walk. Then? The second I took my eyes away, he was gone. I found him in the mouth of the neighbor's cat. When I saw his tail sticking out, I screamed. I started hitting the cat to try and have it spit him out. Then the old lady next door came and hit me with her cane. Then my parents scolded me and spanked me too. In the end, Frosty never came back. I cried my eyes out. 
and I thought to myself, this can't be how we say goodbye. If that little Keith were here today, I know he would never tell you to go home. We've still got a chance of finding him, too. So instead of blubbering, search until you're satisfied. I'll keep quiet to your school and the police. Okay. I'll get going. Uh, um, hey, thanks. Hold on a sec. Have you seen my ring anywhere? Weird. I had it on earlier. What? Your wedding ring? Isn't it right there on your finger? No, it goes on top of this one. It's a gold ring. Maybe I dropped it in that tank. Might have been washed away somewhere. If you don't know, that's fine. Get going. Let's help our friend out. There's nothing inside. Something is up to the back of the door. Got a torn label. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Machine. Folded chairs leaning against the wall. Lantern? He's busy with investigations. Investigation. Turn on the light. Ah, this way is now open. Okay. So, a drain. I wonder if this connects with the water tank. If I run through the water here, I might find the ring. But if I don't catch the ring as it passes through, who knows where else it'll go. It'll be good if I can stop it with something. Um, I think we've found ourselves the perfect solution for that. And it goes by the name of Sleeve. So let's go upstairs and get the Sleeve. inside now the door's firmly shut yep it would be firmly shut now wouldn't it for a split second i thought this was going to be a cycle as an endless cycle sleeve i know if i put this on the drain and run the water maybe it'll catch the rain indeed good going kiddo Good going, kiddo. See, see, Will's not all that dumb, you know. He can think of imaginary friends, but he's not a dumb kid. You can be a good kid. If any of those imaginary thoughts just go away, say goodbye to certain peeps in your life. Okay, a drain. Now I just have to drain the water from the tank. Aha. Uh -huh. Might be slightly corroded due to the water. Actually, it's a gold ring, so it wouldn't be corroded. Made from gold, it won't be corroded. Gold's actually one of the least corrosive... Well, least, one of the least materials that can be corroded. Affected by elements. Affected by the air and moisture. Turn it. Twist the valve. And with that, we should be able to find Sedrine, hopefully. Check the sleeve. Ugh, it's collected a ton of garbage. Ah, that's it, a golden ring. Obtained Keith's ring. Kind of a weird ring. It's bumpy and misshapen. It might be one that's uh, Todd made for him. Could be the case. Todd, by the way, is Keith's late son. Here, Keith. <laughs> hey, nice work finding it. Thanks. That's a weird ring there. Seems pretty misshapen. Yeah, because it's handmade. Me and my son. You made a ring with your son? Why? Precocious little guy wanted a ring for a Mother's Day gift. So I bought him a kit, and we made it together. Kinda messed it up, though. <laughs> as you can see, it's too big even for me. I gave my wife a remade one, and took the mistake. It's kinda like a good luck charm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cute. How old's your kid? Would be ten, if he were alive. 
sorry. For what? I mean, um, just thought you might not want to talk to people about it. It's fine. Uh, why did he die? Traffic accident. Uh, um, my dad died when I was young, too. From heart failure. Uh, accidents and illnesses, um, there's just nothing you can do, you know? So, uh, don't let it get you down. <laughs> I, I mean, no, that's not... What I want to say is... Let me guess. You're trying to comfort me. Maybe. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about me, kid. I appreciate the thought, though. The second rain. First rain, second... Oh, yeah. Marriage rain. That's why this is second rain. Seems to be locked from the inside. So what is... What are we to do now? Still suck about that, but it's odd. Never found the first one yet. Look further back into the game and see what we can find, because I literally could not find a note one anywhere. Where would it exist within the game? Because without note one, then note two is just half the puzzle. Half the clues for the puzzle. So there's this way. Is there anything in here? Anything at all? Keith seems to move around a place when it comes to investigating. Oh, yeah. Now I'm thinking of the Quicken Man when it comes to this sort of scenario. <laughs> a dining room similar to this where you can find a piece of a treasure. Oh yeah, library. Forgot to go there. Because it's on lockdown. So what's this way? What does this way consist of? Well, whatever it is, it's very derelict. Unlocked the inside lock. And we're back here, which is fortunate. Yep, unlock it before the chase. Otherwise, you have a bit more time for someone to catch you. Library. Show you think that that's a small hole, one that Will could probably fit into. Unlock the door. Hmm. I remember this scenario well. So there would be something along the lines of a chase scene here. Gate one open. Hmm. Let's embrace ourselves for a chase scene. Maybe not yet. Have we haven't got the right requirements for the chase scene to activate. That's fine though. Maybe it's because we haven't got note one, that's probably the problem. Locked with me inside. Hmm. There's a lot of parts in this game. A lot of doors. I don't want you to just search through every single one of them. There's got to be an easier method to be able to get the first note. I forgot exactly where we found note 2. So it could be before note, that, note 2. Anyways. Go downwards. Go downwards even more. Hmm. Well, we'll start from the first floor, then work, work our way up. Merk. <laughs> what the hell is that? Merk my way up. No, thank you. I'd rather not merk my way up. Work my way up, yes, but not merk. Merk is not the word. But neither is bird. Through each room to find one sheet of paper. There wouldn't be anything on the maps themselves. Nah, I highly doubt it. This is the location of where note one is. Lots of 
buildings. Hmm. I don't know if that by any chance. No, definitely not. And we're back here again. Yeah, this is not going well. I don't want it to move and freak me out again. Maybe I'd better be better off taking it with me. Take the doll. Maybe this was the missing requirement as to why the library scene wasn't activating. But all good in the front of this world, isn't it now? <laughs> it actually took me a bit of time to fathom out just because, well, why would you take a headless doll with you? I mean, that doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't have any sort of fundamental purposes behind it unless you need to give it as a gift or something to appease a certain evil spirit or something i need this or else you die so therefore you need to get me this pronto otherwise your soul would be mine and everything else like that will be as it is <clears throat> excuse me so this should work now this should work if it doesn't, then I don't know what. Let's start walking back, man. There we go. Footsteps. Keith? Ed? Or Sophie? I wonder if she came back. No. But those footsteps are different. I haven't heard these before. Who is it? Are there still people in this rundown place? I'm scared. What do I do? I should hide. He's gonna go on and turn all the lights, isn't he? Where are you? Hey, show yourself. What are you doing? I know you're there. Show yourself already. Over there. Like, how are you meant to avoid that? Ah! Hi there. Uh, you, you were... Who in the world? Who, who are you? Why are you here? Hey, answer me. Hello, Keith. You, you were... Well, this is a surprise. Didn't expect I'd see you here, Robert. I thought you were staying at the hotel. What happened to that subordinate I assigned to guard you? What? Eric? He fell asleep in the car. More importantly, why are you here? Maybe I'm thinking the same thing you are. Huh? Will, leave. Be quick about it. Who was that guy? It's like he was... Looking for someone. Could it be Ed? Hmm. This is the top floor of the building. I wonder if Pop's still in this building. Actually, there are some stairs to the basement. There was a pile of sandbags in the way, but maybe I could climb over. There is a way of avoiding him. There has got to be a way. So I'll be right back once I get to that point. But I don't know when I last save. But I know where all the steps to get to that point. That point. Where are you? Hey, show yourself. Give me a damn break. 
Show yourself already. Hey, are you listening? Good. Excellent. Hide and seek champ. Damn it, you little. You, you were. Well, this is a surprise. Didn't expect I'd see you here, Robert. I thought you were staying at the hotel. What happened to that subordinate I assigned to guard you? What? Eric? He fell asleep in the car. More importantly, why are you here? Maybe I'm thinking the same thing you are. Huh? I've been researching here and there, but unfortunately, there aren't many clues to his whereabouts. I might be done with this photo too. That's... It was in his room. I assume you're familiar with it. Are you saying that little photo brought you all the way out here? If it were just a photo of a building, I wouldn't bother, but this name caught my attention. George Schmid? What about him? He was one of the culprits in the incident 15 years ago. Well, I know that. But what connections are you suggesting between the 15-year-old case and this one? I suspect there's not a direct one. Still, there's a shortage of clues on him. I have to pay attention to the trivial details. To tell the truth, I'd love to take you to the station right now and ask about your rebellious behavior. But alas, I'm planning on digging for clues a little more. So you do suspect me. I told you if you want to talk, do it through my lawyer. I don't necessarily suspect you. But we're in no situation for people to be slinking around suspiciously. Like this guy here. <laughs> he just knows. Who's that? Just a runaway. Will, leave. Be quick about it. Hmm. Somehow Keith knew that he was there. Uh, <laughs> yep. And come to think of it, I saw the same name on Ed's notebook. Yep. And she put some stairs to the basement, but there was a pile of sandbags in the way, but maybe we could climb over it. Yep, indeed. So, that's not necessary for a good ending or a true ending. It's just optional, but it's very nice to see a little bit of additional story added on to the game itself. Right, I love it there, actually. But the next save will be immensely a long way away. But which is the best way to get back hmm yeah this is the best way to think of a different routes around this place well there's only two different routes but I prefer to go the most direct least time consuming way back there just love how Keith just knew that he was there Maybe he has some sort of sense that we do not know about. He knows he's there, and then he just automatically does that like he did. Like this little guy. And it's a shame we couldn't move then. And then. It was a shame we wouldn't actually listen to that conversation from further away. Damn it, Will, why were you so close by? You knew that Keith would spot you if he was just there and there. Climb over sandbags to the basement. Now we're down here. And also, note one. There isn't a note one because we've already got a note one before the start of the game. So, that's great, isn't it, now? Yes, creepy little Robert there. So, note two. There's something in this middle one. There's something stuck to the roof inside. Obtained a torn label. So I got one torn label that said G1. Oh, G1 or 614. Oh yeah, for dice, 6142. And then go to where the die is. Wooden box. Okay. 6, 1, 4, 2. Hmm. Let's see now, actually. So, hold on. If six is for start, so therefore it would have to be four. 
No. Oh yeah, it adds up to seven, so it'd have to be one. One, six. Okay, one. Where the heck is six? The dice, six, one, four, two. It adds up to seven, but each side's equal to seven. What two equal? It doesn't seem to be that. Which way out does it have to be? I get that. Yeah, but which way up does the dice need to be? I know it's supposed to be face up, face down, to the right, to the left, to the backside left, to the backside right. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, Mr. I don't mean to click on it. Well, I did click on it, but... Uh, there would have to be something else to make this possible. Select a side to put up, put face up in. One, six, one, four, two, one, six. No. The dice. There's something else to it. Or maybe we're not in a position where we can actually solve it instantaneously, but it's really dumb. I swear last time I was able to get this instantaneously. If this gives me a bad feeling I should steer steer clear of this table. What what about this table that's cursed? And dearest doctor, how do you do? I've placed a present on your table. Isn't it just adorable? I'd be happy if you treated it well. Alice Stanley. Dearest Doctor, how do you do? It seems you forgot your present, so I've put it on your desk. Please think of me and take it with you. Uh, Alice is the, um, the psychotic patient. You forgot your gift and left it there again. Please don't lose it again this time. So, you hate the sight of my face. I heard you talking to Dr. Woods. Well, this should do now, shouldn't it? This time, do not lose it and take care of it. Why do you so quickly throw it away? I even talked... I even took away that ugly face. How about this time? I'm quite proud of my hair. Don't abandon me. Stay with me. That is the patient. That's the patient's words. And the doll is the gift. Dennis. The both named Dennis. Oh, Ryan. Chester. Neil Woods. Hmm. Down here. Unlock the inside door. Nice. And this leads out here, nicely done. This wooden box is still game to me because there should be something which I can do, but it's not letting me. Not letting me because of some logic behind all this. Yeah, it says 6142. I tried putting 6142 in, but it's just not going to work. But because I don't know which face up. Which way the dice has to be? Does it have to be on the side to the right, or the side to the left, or does it have to be the back, or the... F ugh, any of the back ones? Or the top, or the bottom? It just does not make any sense at all. And one thing I hate in some games is the logic behind it is so stupid that there's nothing around it. Looks like the service entrance gate has a chain wrapped around it and will not open. Hunky dory. And then some people will be like, well, you just got to think creatively to get it open. Well, there's nothing creative in logic, because logic is the only way to solve a puzzle. 
What's Ricky into my heart? Well, some people would think chocolate, others would think love, others would think game, and some of us would think other things like cooking. So therefore, if you think, if you say that you got to think creative to be able to solve a puzzle, then you let you be stupid about it. Hey, this is the control room that Keith was in. Oh yeah, I've got this. Nothing there anymore. Purpose being here is so unknown. This is a book, though. You were Will, wasn't it? Yes. I'm Robert Hayes. Sorry if I gave you a fright earlier. Get away from me. So, why are you here? By here, I mean this facility. I thought I'd wait out the snow with my friend in here, but we got separated, so I'm looking for him. Is that it? Well, I think you should leave soon. It's snowing badly today. What's your relationship with that detective? I only just met him earlier. What about you? You know him? He came to me three days ago for an investigation of a murder that took place a week ago. Oh, don't worry. I'm not the culprit, of course. Though it seems that detective was still suspicious, so he was stubbornly questioning me. Yes, that's what detectives do. So there was a murder? A certain man was killed in an apartment room. Another tenant noticed and reported it, since the stench was awful after three days. Why did he come to question you? Did you know the guy who was killed? Who knows? It beats me. The police just ask questions. They don't tell you a thing. And you you know why they don't tell you anything? Because it's confidential information. What did he mean by guard? Eh? Keith said something like he assigned a subordinate to guard you. Why do you need to be guarded? Because you're suspicious. I'm not sure of that either. Frankly, I hate being watched 24-7. Just when I've finally gotten away. Why did you come here, Robert? I used to live here long ago. Did you know that after the hospital was shut down, it was turned into a shelter? Yeah, I know. I also heard five people were killed here 15 years ago. Why would you come to a place like that? Same with you, Will. There's no denying dirty, creepy place. But I did spend a short time here as a child. I just felt like reminiscing about the old days. Fat chance. Huh? Nothing. Will, you came to find your friend, yes? You'd better find him soon. It's going to get dark. I suppose I should go, too. See you, Will. Alright. You could catch a cold staying here for too long. Maybe I should tell Ed, too. <laughs> what did you just say? Huh? I asked what you said. Did you meet him? Stop, Stop it! Don't touch me! Let go! Pop? Uh, Rex? <laughs> What's with this thing? D disgusting! Leave me alone! Y you damn rat! Squash goes for Rack. Sheesh! What was that? You stomped on my friend! I'll beat the shit out of you, you bastard! F friend? What? What What are you saying? You asshole! You killed my friend! Get over I here! I thought I told you I need to beat the shit out of you for what you did. I need to be a case, was but you that are dead. Will's I will beat talk. the shit out of you! On my you. sight. You Let's asshole! You killed my friend! Get over here! <laughs> will, calm down. <laughs> It's okay. Breathe slow. <laughs> he, he squished Pop. He squished Pop. It's my fault because I brought Pop along. It's my fault he died. What do you mean, it's your fault, Vita? Do you think it's your... Was that really your rat? Huh? Y 
Tokyo Rat's got a crooked right leg, with some of the fur missing, doesn't he? This one's leg isn't crooked. Also, it's got a pattern on its back. Really? You shouldn't look. It's just a wild rat, but I bet you don't want to see its guts. It attacked Robert, though. I wonder why. Maybe he had some food on him. At any rate, good thing it wasn't your rat. Hey, Keith. Is Robert a killer? Uh, he ran his mouth, did he? He really doesn't listen to anything people tell him. Nah. In fact, he's a victim. That's why I had my foreman guard him. Will, don't get too deep in this. You just find Pop and get back to David's place. Got that? I know that. Okay, so I have a wooden box. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> Went for it too quickly. Still nothing. What is it with this bloody die? This die should go die. Like, how does that make any sense? Where did three and five come from? <sighs> Not enough logic in the game, unfortunately, Uri, with your puzzles. Letter to patient. Dustin, since I'm quitting my job here, I'm writing you this letter. Working in building three, I've been very glad of your kindness, because I was hated in building four. A patient named Kenny hated me especially. He's always sought handshakes from everyone, yet when I passed for him, he always drew back. Thank you for always being friendly with me. It's against rules to give gifts, so I'll give you the name tag I've always wore. I hope you remember me. I'd like to meet you again on the outside. Take care. Nah, oh, that's nice. So, what now in this conundrum? Conundrum of the nightmares. Yeah, that puzzle just definitely needs to be updated because, literally, where the heck would you put three and five in if you didn't look up the walkthrough? It's impossible. Anyways, enough about silly logic in puzzles. Let's just get going. One thing I hate about games which has puzzles in it is the fact that they don't have hints to the puzzles. It's supposed to be like you're supposed to telepathically or... S s Anyways, I'm getting angry with this. I don't want to anymore. Right. Let's get going. Gonna you gotta think creatively, Flair. Shut up. Shut the bloody hell up. All you damn commenters who think they know it all. Only the ones which are trying to be angry towards me, that's all. 
but I do want to grab a rope. Why isn't it letting me grab the rope? Yep, and then this one's the patient. I don't want to stay with you. You're a burden on this place. He was probably the one who killed those five other people. Hmm. Now we seem to run out of options as to where to go. That's literally the premise of a game, is to just keep going around in circles. But there was... There was a key, which we can't get to. Or well, an item which we can't get to. Hmm. I wouldn't think that the gate in the elevator would be open. Place it all on there. Love letter. Okay. So what if... What does that change? Doesn't make any sense, love letter achievement or not. It's still... I don't want to take the doll. It can stay there. Hmm. Where are you going? I don't understand your motives. Where are you going? Okay, we walk past. Okay, so those aren't my footsteps. Up there. Snow's picked up. Did forecast heavy snow? Who are you? You're Alice, aren't you? Misery. Hmm? Hey, why are you always crying? Did something sad happen? You don't want to tell me? I'll stay here until you're not sad anymore. Because it gets sadder when you're by yourself. Or maybe you're crying because you're all alone? I'm all alone too. Everyone thinks I'm weird and avoids me. It makes me really sad. I'll call you Misery. Because it's really important to have a name. It says you're actually there. So you don't have to cry now. I'll stay with you. Please don't, don't cry. cry misery. Even if we're together, I guess we're still all alone. Not there. That can't have been misery. I mean... There's no way she could be here. Since I came to this building, I've been seeing these things again. Is it this place to blame? Or am I just nuts after all? Mimi, Murdoch, Misery. I stopped seeing them once Pop came along. I really do need Pop around. I have to find him no matter what. You're not gonna find a wee little one like him. Fun. Next stage of a game, whether that stage may be, or maybe, maybe we shouldn't have sold this at the moment. Got a map of Sunnyside. Hmm. Confiscated from 3202. There's something written on the back. If people have such things as hometowns, 
This city must be my heart's eternal hometown. Hearing children laugh on the grass in Oak Park, I get a meal in Sunnyside Village, and then I cross Baylands Park, so I can watch the ships leave Sunnyside Bay. But those happy days are never to return. If only someone could take me back there. I understand the letter with that, but the map is quite important. A few towels. The towels are important for later, by the way. I believe. There's a building map posted up. Sorry about my burp again. This sort of stuff. Take the map. Map area 5. Hmm. There's a doodle on the floor. Yeah, so that's the start of the journey. It's looking at the map itself, the sunny side map. What the hell is the stain on the floor? I keep seeing these stains around, and they keep giving me a bad feeling. Bad places achievement unlocked. Yeah, well, the chair and the stains are very suspicious. Also very obvious as to what happened. It's very dark. Extremely dark themed. A staff member's diary. I scolded the patient in 3202 for drawing on the floors. He keeps wandering with a map of his hometown. It was just depressing, so I confiscated it, but he's still wandering around there. The patient in 3408 is clamoring about being watched. I tape up the cell to serve as makeshift blinds. But he still says he's being watched. He sits in a chair by his bed, up against the bars. Looking into the hall through the tape, keeps he keeps muttering, "Everyone is watching me." Talk about disturbing. Mental assignment this place used to be before a homeless shelter. So you'd have to go. I don't believe through each one. It have to be a specific door. Then there's this door over here, which leads to the shower rooms. Unsure if any of these particular rooms has any drawings on them. Although, unlike the other cells, these are quite easy to just look at and then go if there's nothing immediate. 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 The name by immediate is all good. Great. Now someone's following me. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie, dear. Hmm. Oh yeah, the map itself. 3402, wasn't it? It was one of the rooms. Stop following me around. It's very unnerving. Something to this freaky shadow. It came from one of the rooms. God damn it. But I think what you're meant to do is go through the journey of the Sunnyside map as you collect the hints as you go along. But I think it's the top floor. Ah, there's this way as well. All good and fine, and it stopped following me now. I'm not me inside. Good. We know all the secret routes. The super, 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 super supper secret. It's supper because it's now time for supper. It still follows me. And there's another part of the journey there. It doesn't say which order the journey goes in. That's the problem we're facing. A notice. We encourage everyone to lead a quiet life. Do not talk loudly. This is not a lounge. Watch your steps in the halls and don't make too much noise. If you find someone hurting himself or hurting others, you say hurting themselves. 
I do not best inform the staff at once. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. <laughs> you know, that wasn't spooky at all, was it now? It feels like someone's watching me. Scary, I don't want to go there. Fine. The cell won't open. I feel like someone's watching. Hmm. We're gonna get in there somehow. It won't open. Hmm. So that's three, four, eight. Where does one go in this premises? Maybe the journey is where you're supposed to look at, actually. Hmm. Let's go in here. So let's look at the map again. Yeah, it's on here. So... Oak Park, Sunnyside Village, Baden Parks, Sunnyside Bay. That's the order you need to go in, but we need to find the fourth, like, outline. Oak Park. I can only summarize that is the second one, just simply because of all the zigzag lines. It looks like roads. Then go down here and we find ourselves yet yeah, another contraption of rooms. Hmm. Not one in here. Where could the fourth one be? I haven't found it yet. One of the cells probably. But again, do not know which one because this place is very, very confusing. Okay, we'll solve it in the next time, folks, because this is really bizarre at the moment. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Sorry about the little parts of me complaining about the puzzle in this game. But I would say, though, that the puzzles do need a bit of tweaking just so that people will be able to solve them without looking at a walkthrough. Or maybe I'm just not thinking correctly, or creatively, as some people would say. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you all in the next time of The Handman on Steam. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.